Hi, I'm Carol Vincent, and I uh, teach basic electricity at the college, I teach in the electrical department. I also uh, teach in the math department. I would tell any student, like, what do you like to do? Uh, if you have a job for, or a career that you enjoy, it's not gonna feel like work to go to work. So start to get to know yourself. And, and for myself, when I was in high school, I started to realize that I like the math and science classes. And so that's where I, where I stuck with what I stuck with and where I excelled. In, in uh, high school, I ordered an electronic doorbell kit just because I was interested in how does it work and soldered it together and it was fun. Played seven different tunes. And it was something that I was interested in, so uh, I bought it and built it. I know it was a kit, but it, I learned a lot. So whatever it is that interests you, go for it. And I would tell anybody that there will always be work in the trades. So we build electronic assemblies, cables, um, anything from just basic USB type cords to sub-assemblies that might be in a little bit more advanced kind of military aerospace type stuff. So jets, different high level military vehicles. Your attention to detail is everything, especially with assemblies like these. If you were to come in here with those skills and you kind of got some time on the floor and decided where you wanted to go, you really see that the opportunities are pretty broad. I mean, if you could be on the quality side of things, an engineering per type person, somebody that is a more advanced builder, if that's what you like to do. There's the software side of things, if that's what you like to do, programming software engineer, um, a mechanical or electrical engineer that's kind of more on the side of really taking a, a drawing and making what's represented on this drawing an actual working assembly. Just being an ha a hands-on builder, some people are very hands-on and prefer to do that. There's a, a lot of different aspects of an electronic assembly that need to be programmed, put together, that they all come together to actually make that piece of equipment work. So this is an industry that's not going to go anywhere. You get some really cool insight, you get some cool knowledge of different things you can do in your personal and your professional career. And we all use electronics every day and it's not going anywhere. It, it's a pretty good place to be. And it's only going to get bigger and bigger as everything becomes more digital.